Chill, Matt G, the Ghost Lady, and Len Moleko. Henda, Vareme, Ne, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to it. It is another episode of Podcast and Chill. We're coming at you live from Cotton Lounge in Bryanston. And today I'm chilling with the beautiful, <laughs> the talented, <laughs> Kelly Nontlantla Kumalo. Hey, don't tell that to the people, you know? Why not? Because I'll tell you why, and then people start thinking they know me when they don't. Oh, you know? yes, They yes. know Kelly Kumalo Nontlantla, they... Have no idea who she but is. But Nontlanta is a beautiful name, though. Yes, it's my mother's. She gave me that name. What does it mean? Uh, fortunate. Fortunate. The fortunate one. Hey, yeah. it makes a lot of sense, eh? Doesn't it also mean... You look at uh, my life and you're like, yeah, no, that girl <laughs> is fortunate. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't it also mean a, a gift of God? Well, I am a gift of God. I wish I had that name that says gift of God because every... Thing in my life says I am a gift of God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Thanks for coming, man. I've been wanting Thank to you have you, and me. it was so easy to get you on because I literally WhatsApped you, and you're yeah. like, "Alright, cool, let's do it." Because with other celebs, it takes so much, uh, so much admin. You have to go through mang 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 mang. Well, I do have that, but I choose not. To. After 15 years in the industry, you understand that actually some things are unnecessary. Yeah, you know where you're like, yeah. Uh, phone my team and my team will tell you whether we want to come through or not. I, I have that. Mm. I just choose not to exercise it. And I was telling you, it's the first episode where the guest is drinking tea. <laughs> See, it just cho- it, it shows your life, eh? Make G- your life. <laughs> Look at your life. <laughs> your, the, cho- the choices that you make, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've made better choices, you know? All right, cool. Let's start from the beginning, eh? Uh, you grew up in Sprayed View. Well... I was born in uh, Natal Spray. Okay. Gatleho. Moved down to KZN. Came back to Sprayview. Mm. And uh, started music while I was still in Sprayview. Why did you move to KZN? It was ju- during the riots between oh. the ANC and the IFP. You, you were there around that time? Th- yes. I'm oh, the old darling. person. <laughs> 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 no, but also I was in grade one. Grade, uh, what is grade one? Great, yeah, it's great one. Uh, Dom Domni. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was in great one, so yeah. I wasn't. I, I, I'm not that old. Was it crazy during those times? Because I was, I was not ra- raised around the. It was super crazy. Yeah, and and the, like you were the ones who grew up in the Bundus. Yeah, because yeah. There was peace in the Bundus. Hence, I was taken to the Bundus. Mm. So we couldn't go to school at some point. Because you'd find when I'm a place, I'm a pan, not I'm a place, I'm a soldier. Sure. There's gunshots everywhere. So I've seen those times. Yeah. Yeah. And were your parents like uh, fighters, freedom fighters, or any? Were they involved? My in the... auntie was, mm. and uh, she passed away sadly in a very horrible uh, car accident. Mm. But she was a freedom fighter. Uh, maybe yeah. that's where you get the fighting spirit from. Possibly, <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, no, she was a no nonsense. And and funny enough. She was like a mother to me. Okay. It's funny you should say that. Mm. A lot of people thought she was my mom. I thought, I grew up thinking she was my mom. Mm. That's how close we, uh, we were. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. And did you guys uh, look like the same? We are like? No. No. No, not at all. Yeah. I looked like, I, I actually looked like my mother's older sister. Oh, the okay. Other one. Ah, but you got beautiful genes in your, in your family. Well... You must we'll say, see. Give me ten, ten years, and I can still, if I can still come back and say the same thing. You must say hi to your sister. We've got unfinished business, me and her. Ha, she's married. Is she married me. now? How? Oh, no way! <laughs> 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 hey, it shows how long we haven't seen. <laughs> Do you remember the first time we met? Was it YFM? Was I it don't know. Was it YFM? Was I it? met you through your sister. Uh-uh, First me. time, I Re- kid you not. Okay, okay, refresh my memory. Yeah, okay, let me tell you the story. Ne? So, um, I had a club called oh, Paparazzi oh, Lounge. Oh, Paparazzi! Yes. And she's like, I'm going to bring my sister, and she was doing promotions. Yes. And stuff. Oh, yes. yes! So she came to me, she's like, look, I don't know if she was you, her sister. Yeah. I'm like, no, you, she, you do look like Kelly Kumala, but I didn't know. Yeah. So she comes to me, she's like, listen, I want to do a gig here, I'm going to bring my sister. I'm like, who's your sister? She's like, Kelly Kumala. I'm like, ah, okay, cool, we can do it. <laughs> I know, I remember, man. I remember she's married now. Oh, wow. She got married three years ago. Is it? Yeah. Hey, she's a good kisser, though. Huh? Ay, ay, ay. I am a good kid. I am a good kid. I am a good kid. When her husband uh, uh, comes knocking at your door, please do not involve me. I repeat, do not involve me. Yeah, no, I'm kidding. So listen, um, let's talk about you. 
So yeah. when did you realize, okay, cool, I want to be a singer. I want to be an artist. I want to be in this industry. It seems like it started from a young age, no? It did. It did. That led to me quitting school. You quit school? I did. At grade 10. Wow, that's mm. brave at that time. I, I, I actually went to grade 10, like, briefly. By March, I was out of school. So... What made you want to quit? I wasn't happy. I wasn't keeping up. And I'm like, I know I'm a smart child, but I'm just not happy, you know? When, you know when your heart and passion is no longer Into, there yeah. mm. and you're no longer happy and you're <clears throat> young at that time, you don't know what's wrong and you end up thinking maybe there's something wrong with you. Mm. But I was just not happy. And I just disappeared. And what did your parents say? Weren't they mad? Oh, my mom hated me for it. Mm. And I remember her saying to me, you will never be anything. Mm. Yeah. yeah. So those were the things that I went through at that time. But I was still saying, I'm not going to school. But you guys were still, you were still staying with your parents. I ran away from my mom's You house. ran away. I did. I ran away from my mom's house. In grade 10, Kaylee. Yes. Because I, I just, I knew she, w- she would make me go. Go back. back to school. Yeah. And I was like, no, I'm not doing it. How long did you run away for? Uh, for like six months. Oh, okay. And I was staying with my stepmom, a woman who was married to my father. Oh, yeah. oh okay, cool. And how was that like for you? Oh, yeah, yeah. It was good at first, but also my stepmother f- suffered from uh, uh, addiction of alcohol. Oh, okay. Yeah. Don't we all? <laughs> As I sip my drink. <laughs> Not me. <laughs> and yeah, she had a problem with al- alcohol. So one day, some days she'd be nice and some days she'd be awful, especially when she was drunk. Yeah. yeah. And obviously you're not her biological child. I'll always take the fall for everything that goes wrong in the yeah. yeah. So six months you said, I cool, I'm out of this house. Because I just wanted uh, the dust to die down with my parents. Oh, you know okay, what I'm let saying? them come down. So they bit. can't take me back. How can? I, how do I catch up in six months? Yeah, yeah. I can't. Very Just smart, actually. <laughs> <laughs> For great ten. So that was the plan. That six months later they can't make me go back mm. because I mean, really, how do I catch up? I can't catch yeah. up anymore. Yeah. Your career started on Crux Gospel Star. Yes. Did was it, that was like idols back in the day? Was it? Sort of I, I, gospel idols. Okay. Yeah. So w- what made you decide to go there? I saw, it, I saw it on TV. Yeah. And I'm like, now this is what I want to do. Not the boring stuff about school and stuff. So I saw, that on, I saw the ad on TV and I decided to go. And when you went to the auditions, weren't you scared? Weren't there a lot of people there? I was number, was it 800? Wow. 800 and something, if I'm not mistaken. It's been a while, so I, I don't remember. But yeah. I was number 800 and something. And... And when I got there, the line was so long. And you know what I said to them? What? Oh, they're looking for me. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it seems like when you grew up, you always had this confidence that I'm going to be a big star. I knew it. I knew it. If there were, if, even now, if there's something that I'm confident in is my gift, mm. my singing gift. And no one can take that away from you. Oh, no, no. They <laughs> wish they could, but <laughs> they can't. Because <laughs> the first time I heard of you was uh, that song, Ichichi, meaning Ichichi. But I broke into the industry with uh, Benisela. Oh, Benisela. Benisela. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. That was big. It was so huge. It hit me so hard to a point where I woke up one day, I was like, is this really me or is it just me? Yeah. You know? Yeah. yeah. And then Ichichi, were you, were you a virgin when you made that song? Let me tell you, when I made that song, it was after I... In you in broke in it. In <laughs> <laughs> oh, shut up. You're disgusting. <laughs> By the way, respect me. I'm a married woman. Yes, and I'm a mother yes, of two. And, yes. a wom- and I'm a woman of God. Respect. Okay? Nothing but respect. Chief, yeah. respect me. <laughs> so I went to do an interview... With uh, one of Sunday Sun's uh, journalists. Yeah. After I was proposed on national TV. So this guy says to me, um, the, uh, the, um, the journalist mm. says to me, um, Kelly, so now that you are um, engaged, are you, are, you, are you living with your boyfriend? And I'm like, no, and I'm not planning to until we are married. That's when the story of Ichichi was mm. spin off. It went crazy. I mean, 
I would not want to discuss what I get up to in yes. those doors. And yes. I would not want it to be an issue now that is discussed by the whole nation. So the song so, be- came from that moment. It came from that. Wow. Because the next um, headline was Kelly the Virgin. Mm. So they gave me that. I never said anything to anyone. Yeah. So I ran with that. Yeah. So that's why the song says, yes. So if you really listen to the lyrics, they tell you exactly what happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. As someone who's been in the industry for so long, have you been screwed over when it comes to money? You know, like Zahara. I have been screwed over. You're not kidding. Once, but twice. I'm not mentioning names. You ran away in grade 10. How can you get screwed over? Yeah, but that, that's the thing about running away in grade 10. You miss out on certain <laughs> things that you're supposed to learn. God, <laughs> you know. Um, signed a contract. and um, Your it, first contract? My first contract. And it ended up at the place where I wasn't getting my gigging money. Oh, okay. My gigs money. And was gig money the same like it is now? No, it wasn't the same, but I was making a lot yeah, of it. Yeah, okay. For a, tw- for a 19-year-old. Was I 19? How much were you making yeah, per gig? Yeah, I, I was 19 at the time. How much were you charging and a gig? a gig was like 30 grand. Are you kidding? Yes. Yo. My gigs were like 30 grand. I, even, I would have even the 80 grand if I'm bringing the band. Yeah, the now. band. Yeah. This is like 15 years ago. Wow. Because so, 80 grand is still a lot now. Yes. So imagine a 19-year-old who makes so much money. You look at you. Where was I? <laughs> Nowhere. <laughs> You are not even born. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, so you signed your first contract. Yeah. And then they're not giving you the gig money. Now they're no longer paying me. I think it was December and I had a a lot of gigs in December. And then they didn't give me some of my money. I asked for it. Now it was a, you know, touch and go, touch and go. And I'm like, I need my money. I want my money. I worked for it. And then I stopped uh, uh, showing up to... The gigs, because I'm like, okay, if the money is going to you, let's see if Kelly Kumalo is going to show up, Mm. you know, Mm. because I will not be used. But you're under contract, though. Yeah, but if I'm in, uh, you honor your part, I honor mine. Mm. You know what I'm saying? That's what contracts are about, Mm. you know. We come together as partners. We work together. You you do your part, I do mine. And if you, if I'm doing mine and you're not doing your part, what, what does that mean? Yeah. So I was like, okay, let's see if Uzum Tolap, okay. So in hindsight, do you wish you had finished school and studied like the business side of music? Well, I have 50 years experience now, so I, that's water under the bridge now, mm. you know? Mm. But I had to like learn the hard way. Yes, on I the mean, job. Had I gone to school, it would have been easier, you mm. know? Mm. I would have understood certain things. Yeah. And I would have fought differently. Mm. Did you, you know? ever like get booked because the promoter wanted to sleep with you or something like that? No, I've never had such things because I, I mean, you that has never been the energy that I bring out. Mm. They book me, I will, you know, yes, you yes. Know, it has <laughs> never. In fact, in this industry, I've never had such, mm, yeah. you know, even with having pro, um, uh, compilers play my music. My music has always been played because. I have good music, yeah. and people believe in my talent as a yeah, individual. Music is good, bro. So for me, I've never had to go through that. Yeah. yeah. So now, okay, cool. Radio stations are playing your songs, music videos. You got magazines. When did you realize? Okay, I know Kilo Kumal and Figi Lemanj. I've arrived. I think 2006. That's when it just really hit me because I'm like, I'm everywhere. I mean, the album, my first album, came out in August 2005. So it was big things all the way. I mean, sharing a a stage with Missy Elliott. Wow. I mean, all those things. I'm like, oh my God. Missy Elliott is like this version of Cardi B now. (laughs) For those who don't know. I feel so old. (laughs) (laughs) What's happening with me? (laughs) Yeah, 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 yeah. No, it, and then I'm nominated for summers. the summers, and I'm performing at the metros. I'm everywhere. I'm on magazines. I'm at, like, for me, it was like, now, God, I'm glad I walked away from school when I did, because oh. I would have missed out on all this beauty. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, that's amazing. Because you had a good run. You still are having a good run. I'm still having a good run. <laughs> <laughs> thank, thank God for that. I mean, Is it 15 years later, Yeah, you're still in the same uh, banner with the people that came out a month ago. Mm. And people that came out like last year, young kids. And I'm like, 
Wow, Father, you are faithful. Is it hard to be in the industry and not addicted to a substance? Mm -hmm. The reason why I'm saying this, right? Because yeah. I'm a DJ, ne? Yeah. and when I'm drinking, ah, I can play for 10 hours. But when I'm yeah. sober, yeah. 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 But when I'm sober, an hour feels like such a long time. I know, but uh, you know what I've learned, and uh, and and being a drug addict. Uh, no, what am I saying? Ex no, 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 a recovering drug recovering, addict. Recovering, okay. That's what I wanted to say. Yeah. And um, what I've learned is that I can't operate on substance. Ah. I can't. So you are the opposite. I am the opposite. Mm. I can't. I can't. It's blocking your energies. It blocks my energy and I can't um, connect to the higher power. Because mm. my gift is solely dependent on God. Wow. So if I'm not sober, I can't do it. Mm. I, I start doubting myself. I start singing off tune. I start singing wrong notes and whatnot. And you're so a perfectionist. I'm a perfectionist. So for me, I need to be sober to be on that stage. Ah. Do you remember the first time you did your first line? I remember. I remember very well. I mean, how could you not remember something that ruined your life? Yeah. It, it stays with you. Yeah. That day stays with you because you keep going back and you're like, I wish I had not done that. Mm. But anyway, I'm glad that I did because I would not be the woman that I am today. Yeah, of course. You know, I would not be so strong in the things that I do and be very focused on the things that I'm meant to do as an individual. How many people are, are, are doing drugs in the industry? It's a lot, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I am not going to be no snitch. <laughs> I'm not snitching on anybody. Please, I, I want no, <laughs> no Russians at my doorstep. Yeah, yeah. Please, I am begging you. Yeah, yeah. No, but it, it makes a lot of sense what you're saying because you're musical. I mean, your, your music is so musical and it, you can tell it comes from a higher power. It's not for You're me. like a vessel. Yeah. And I've allowed... It took me a while to realize, you know? Had I known this before, I wouldn't have done... I wouldn't have done drugs. I wouldn't have gone the routes that I've taken in my life because I'm just a vessel, mm. you know? And allowing that to, to, to manifest in my life and, and seeing the beauty that comes with, I wouldn't have done a whole lot of things. And you haven't relapsed. Don't you get tempted sometimes? I'm six years sober this year. Hey, hey now, hey now, hey now. <laughs> Yo, yes, yes, congratulations. <laughs> eh? That's a long time. I mean, I've had low, uh, lows in my life. Yeah. Where it feels like, Yo, I'm, I'm actually at the lowest part of my life and I could take a line. Mm. But the question becomes, do you want to make them happy by taking the line? <laughs> Because the next headline would be Kelly relapses. Eesh. I that's one and headline. Be so happy. I am not going to give them. They'll be so happy. Kelly relapses? No way. Yeah. It's not going to happen. Not in the million years. Yeah. And it's not just for them, but it's also for me. The uh, the sobriety is comes with so much beauty. And it goes back to what you're saying of a uh, before we started recording about the book that you're reading. Yes. Yeah. Tell me about that. Book. Unbroken curses. Yeah. 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 I've hit so many walls, walls, so many times, and to a point where you're like, I oh, man. I can't keep repeating the same things over and over. Something is wrong. And what is wrong? And me being the spiritual person, I kept asking God to reveal certain things. And I recently met up with this amazing lady who's also a musician, but a spiritualist as well, uh, who loves God. She What's a spiritualist? It. For me, it's a, p a person who's in touch with their spirituality. Ah, I see. Yeah. So would you regard yourself as that? I am that. Okay. But it depends. There's all sorts of them. Yeah. Godly spirituality. Yeah. No, I'm a drunkist, so. You are drunkist. <laughs> <laughs> it is. No, no, I'm a godly spiritualist. <laughs> so for me, I. Drunkist, no. <laughs> uh, well, uh, not to say that I don't go there. Yeah. I do. Devil. Occasionally, yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? But, you know. Yes. So for me, I went through this book and it made me realize that sometimes we go through battles that have nothing to do with us. Hmm. And broken curses. You know, uh, covenants that were entered into by people before us hmm. in our family tree. And you find out that the same problem is repeating itself. Wow. You know? 
and to a point where you pray but you don't see results. Yes, yes. You work hard on, on bettering yourself as an individual, but you don't see results. But now it, you are not the problem. The problem started long ago. Mm. And now what's up to you is that you have to break those curses. Break the cycle. Break the covenants that were made on your behalf. Break even the sins that were made then that you are paying for now. Wow. Because now even... I know God blesses you and bless a generation to generation. Yes. But even when he curses, mm. it goes from, from generation to generation. So those are the things that you need to be aware of as an individual. It's not just about you. It's about where you come from. Hmm. And you're embarking on that journey right now. I'm on that journey and it's such a beautiful 60 years journey. later. <laughs> come on. <laughs> You know, I'm very, it could be actually 200 years later, mm. you know, because I mean, I'm sure that what I've gone through, the women in my family tree have gone through, mm. you know what I'm saying? Mm. And they did not know what was the problem. And I thank God for the Holy Spirit now that I know what was the problem. And now I know how to direct my prayers. I'm specific now. Mm. I know how to pray and what to say, because now I understand that it's not just a now thing. It has, it's, it's way back from our ancestors, the things that they've done wrong, you know, the covenants that they've entered into. Hmm. Do you think you have a calling? For? Because you're very, like, you're very spiritual, like you say. Yeah. And you believe in vibes and energies. I'm all about the vibes and, and if you energies. think about it, your music is healing. Yes, it just gives you the vibes. Yeah. The healing vibes. <laughs> the happiness vibes. The third the eye. Love, the love vibes. Yeah. No, I, I, I strongly believe so. Otherwise, I would not be so determined to seek knowledge in certain things. Mm. That's you trying to understand. I want to understand. So that I can live a full, purposeful life. It, ha it, it just can't be Kelly keeps rounding in circle over and over and over. There's no breakthrough. Yeah. I cannot be that person. Yeah. And also, not just for me, but for my children. My children can't go through the things that I've been through. Yeah. It would be an injustice to them because mm. they are suffering for things that they have nothing to do with. Mm. So I have to break the cycle. Mm. I love that, man. Speaking about love, let's talk about your love life. Hey. Mm. <laughs> Mudi. Because, yeah, you don't want to miss this, Nana. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mudi. Oh, Lord. Tell me, are you a sucker for love? I love love. Nah. I love love. And, and I believe that nothing will ever stop me from loving love. Yeah. Okay? I believe that I was created by love for love. Mm. So for me, if I don't love and be loved, what am I doing? What mm. am I here for? I'm here to spread love and receive love. Mm. You know? So I love love. And is there anyone you regret dating? God, I probably regret everything <laughs> except for my husband. <laughs> <laughs> you wish you could start afresh. I'm like, God, where was my husband all along? You know, no. And also, but it's not so much of regret. I wish I was the woman that I am then. But you then had to I, go through that. I, I, yes, I had to. I don't resent it. Trust mm. me, I don't resent it. I respect it because I would not, I would not know what I know now. Mm. You know? Mm. Now, I've picked from a place of from a godly place mm. where I'm like, this man is godly. Therefore, he will represent everything that is godly. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I don't need to tell him not to cheat on me. Yeah. I don't need to tell, me to, to tell him to treat him to treat me right. Have you ever he been know. cheated on? Oh. Ha, Kelly. Mudimu. You. <laughs> Mudimu. Have you seen yourself in the mirror? This whole beauty. <laughs> But it just tells you when love is not coming from a good place. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And when you keep coming across men who are suffering from unbreak, uh, for unbreak, uh, 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 what's that word? Unbreakable. Curses. Curses. They're suffering from that. It's not even their fault. They don't even know what they are doing. You ask him, why, I, why are you cheating? I don't know. Why did you do it? I don't know. Mm. So it goes way back. Hmm. And are you mad at your boyfriend at the time or the lady he's sleeping with? 
for me, I have never been the one to be mad at the lady. Mm. And I never will be. My thing so you're is not that mad at the lady who are uh, No, I, I don't. I'm not. Mm. I'm mad at the person I have an agreement with. Mm. The lady has nothing to do with this. But you as a man, you have given her the right to destroy what we have. I see. You went and looked for it. Mm. You know what I'm saying? You have put our relationship at risk. Not her, you mm. as a man. So for me, I will never fight the lady. I will always punch the living daylights of that man. <laughs> <laughs> you know, in all your interviews that I've watched, I've never seen you mad, actually. You're always smiling, jovial. Do you get mad? Oh, I do get mad. But my, my type of mad is very well thought out. Oh, that's the dangerous kind. It's, it's that's the one you must be wary of. That's the one when you're sleeping. <laughs> <Fuck>. <laughs> no, it's through words. I said, I've said certain things and people did not pick up with, no, she's mad. Mm. But people who know me, they're like, woo, I would not want to be that person. Yeah. No. Is he, are you like that in relationships as well? I'm like that all the time. So let's say me and you are dating. Yeah. Okay. Um, I forget your birthday. You are mad. I am actually not that petty. I'd oh, be hurt okay, that my boyfriend... Late. You come home late. You have to explain yourself why. Mm, I was out with the boys. That still doesn't make me mad. What makes you mad? <laughs> <laughs> you know, the thing is, I've gone through so much in my life uh, and to a point where I realize that a lot of things are meaningless. Yeah, you're immune. Not really immune, but there's certain things that are really not worth me reacting on. So for you to get mad at me, if we're dating, it would take a lot. Maybe go and cheat. Okay, so I cheated. I will tell you exactly what I think of you and walk away. You won't get physical, nothing. It's a waste of time. You've just shown me who you are and what you represent. So let's, let me leave you so that you can carry on with what you're very passionate about what you've risked this relationship for. All right, let's flip the tables. What if now you're the one who's cheating? I don't believe in cheating. Mm. So you've never cheated? I don't believe. I did it when I was younger, when I did not understand. Grade 10? Yeah, great, that grade 10, <laughs> grade 7, grade 6. I, I did that when I was younger. Yeah. And, but I've always been that woman who just loves being... Uh, committed in one relationship. Oh, okay. You know, I just believe in that. Yeah, yeah. You know? And for me, I don't even have to try hard. Yeah. You know? So if I'm in a committed relationship, I see no point or no reason to cheat. Mm. And what's the one thing you've learned from all your relationships? Never overqualify people. What does that even mean? You know, sometimes the, you look at the guy and he looks so handsome and you think he can be what you want in a relationship. Mm. You know, you fall for the looks. You fall for attention. For the wrong things. You, you, you fall for sweet words. And you, 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 you know, you, no, but that's God. That's not what you're going to do. And you're going to shy. But shy, shy. And you think it's love. That's you overqualifying people into your life. You're giving them things that, not, that they are not worthy of. Mm. Did Chad shy, shy you? He didn't. He's lived by his words. Mm. He said, I want to marry you. Wow. He did exactly When that. you met at the video shoot? Eh? When you met at the video shoot? Uh, yeah, uh, two days, three days after that. Wow, yeah. he knew. He said, I want to marry you. I want to take you to my mother. I want to have children with you. I want to build a life with you. And I don't believe in cheating just like you. I'm a man who loves God. So why don't we love God together and pursue our purpose together? And I'm like, oh, yay, finally there's a guy who thinks like me. Sounds like he's been stalking you, or he was. He knew of me, but he had never met me. Ah. And same get, goes for him. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. And how's that been like for you? It's been beautiful. As and someone I'm, who loves love, you know? It's been really beautiful. Unbelievably beautiful. I mean, I'm, I'm experiencing the best time of my life in marriage. And obviously, that does not mean that it's a walk in the park. Yeah, and it's yeah. beautiful and, oh, yeah. so, and, and, and all sorts of things. But what I've learned is that once you find that one particular person that you're willing to go an extra mile for, 
and everything else just falls into place. How is he different from all your previous guys that you've dated? Oh my God, he's godly, I mm. think. And he stands by God's word. You know, if I say God says one, two, three, my husband will not go against God's will. What's going to happen when you get to heaven and then they tell you God doesn't exist? That's great. <laughs> I don't believe that for a second. I'm just saying. <laughs> then maybe it maybe well I for, first and foremost I don't believe that God does not exist. No 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 I'm, I'm just, I'm no, just kidding. No let's just yeah. clear that yeah, one yeah, out. Yeah yeah no definitely. Obviously. I'm yeah. living proof that yeah. uh, God does exist. Yes. But if it happens I'll be like at least they we were given uh, uh, something to believe in. Yeah something hope. To, yes hope something to help better ourselves mm. and that's good enough. Mm. Yeah. So if it doesn't work out with Chad are you still gonna try find love? God forbid it doesn't. I don't believe it's not going to work out. But if it doesn't, I will still carry on believing in love. Mm. That's just who I am. I love love. Yeah. Yeah, that's incredible, man. Because if I'm hurt once, I'm like, fuck this shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm rocking and rolling. But also, maybe you say, fuck this shit because you're looking at it the wrong way. Mm. You're looking at it the, from the hurt point of view. Yeah. But you are dismissing your contribution into it. Oh, yes. Because it just doesn't happen. It happens because you contributed into it. Yeah. We must also take ownership of that. What vibes do you get from me since you're big on vibes and energies? Mm, don't. <laughs> don't. Uh, don't ask me. <laughs> well, I'm not going to like what you're going to say. No, you're not going to because right now, let me tell you where I am. I am picking up your your drinking vibes and they are fa- affecting me. I can't even speak properly. You kidding? I'm telling you. Oh, you should have told me I wouldn't have drank. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. Listen, do do you? I'm the I'm the last person to tell you what to do with your life. Mm. I celebrate you for you. And your choices. Your choices are your choices, not mine. Mm. So I cannot impose my beliefs on you. Mm. It, mm. it can never happen. So what do you do in normal life when you're not vibing with someone? So maybe like it's someone you're working with for one of your shows or yeah. you got a TV gig or a movie. Yeah. But the v- energies, the vibes. You know, I, I had a manager that I, managing company that managed me uh, last year before I left to start my own company. I said one day, I said, dude, I don't like the energy that the client is bringing. And he says to me, I feel the same way too. I'm like, cut me off that uh, deal. I want out. Huh. I don't want money that comes with a lot of things that have Baggage. nothing to do with me. And in, you can feel the vibes and you're like, this vibe is not the vibe. Even when the money comes into your account, you don't get the joy that you usually, I usually get. Mm. You, 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 you're rather concerned. And you don't want to feel like that when it's something that you've worked for. Mm. Yeah. Wow, that's crazy, man. That's really deep, man. Energies are everything. And she has turned the goose in doing a in and that. Yeah. Would you ever do a roast about yourself? I don't believe in roasts. Mm. Uh, roasts about as much as we see it as a joke, but it's running people down mm. on things that are very sensitive to them. Yes. We can laugh about it now, but we don't know what that person is going through behind closed doors. Yeah. Nothing is ever a joke when it comes to one's life. Whether it's in the past or it's in the present or it's in the future, it's never a joke because you don't know how it affects that person. What if you joke about it and that person goes and, and, and hangs themselves? Yeah. So I don't believe in roasts. It can be funny. It's nice for those people who can do it, but I don't believe in that. Are you still friends with the same people when you started in the industry? Um, are you still friends with them now? Because I know you're very big. You've big friends with Samiz, isn't it? I used to be. We oh. used to be very close. There's a lot of people I used to be very close to, but obviously as you grow, your character changes. And so does they. Uh, yes, and so the, does they. And obviously, you don't want the same yeah, I feel bad anymore. now taking a sip. No, take a sip. <laughs> take a sip. Yeah. No, no, no. Have your sip. <laughs> and also, uh, I, I mean, a lot of things change. Your mm. desires change. Mm. The character changes. And you go your separate ways. Yeah. Yeah. 
Did you meet a lot of fake people on the come up? <laughs> this whole industry is a sham. I'll tell you that for free. You say, hey, how are you? How great? What are you working on now? It is never about true interactions. You know, when I truly want to know, how are you doing? Like the conversations we had before the podcast, you yes, know, yes, where yes. we talk about real things, mm. where you can impart, where we can share knowledge, knowledge you know, impart knowledge. It's, it's hardly that. There's very few people in the industry that have that. And who are those people for you? Is there no one? <laughs> Dine was one of them. Lusenga. I mean, Ranaka. Ranaka. Ah, I mean, whenever I bump into Dine, we end up forgetting about we are <laughs> <laughs> and we start blah, 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 blah. It never ends. Same goes with Manaka as well. Uh, Manaka. It's blah, 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 blah. It never ends. And you guys ends. are from the East Red. It's you. not even that. Yeah. Maybe it's, it's the way that we were raised and being mm. in touch with your true self. So, you know, we're not trying to you know, fool people into believing we are happening. If we're not happening, we're not happening. If we are happening, you will know that we are happening. Mm. So that's what I appreciate, r- truly appreciate about uh, the Ranaka uh, sisters. Mm. They are s- one of the true people I know. There's also Lady Do. I don't know Lady Do. She's a DJ. She's a friend of mine. She's also yeah. in the industry. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> real of the realist. Yeah, yeah. So I've met, there's a lot of people who are real. Yeah. A lot of them, but also, yay, 90% is like, oh, we love you on your face, but behind closed doors, we're like, oh, God, <coughs> Kelly Kuma, when is she dying? Can you tell now? You can spot them from a mile away. I, I know them. I can see them. And obviously, I'm not going to be the person who will be nasty towards them. I can see right through anyone, but I'll still greet you and be civil to you and be nice to you. Maybe you need a hug. That's why you're so fake. Mm. You know, you just really need a hug. You know, so I hold nothing against them. Yeah. If being fake works for them, then great. But for me, it doesn't work for me at all. When did you realize, oh shit, this industry is full of fake people, man? There must have been something that happened to you. Um, a, a lot of things happened to yeah, me we don't all have the time. And I need think the whole day. <laughs> <laughs> you know, a lot of things happened to me, but you know, in every level that God takes me to, I realize certain things about certain people. Mm. So I keep shedding people along the way and I'm like, okay, that does not work. And not to say I hate those people. Mm. I do not hate. And I'm not judging anyone. And, and, and I'm at the place where I, I will always choose me and protect me. Yeah. Thank you. Mm. You know? Mm. So that's where I'm at now. Wow. So Black Twitter is on your case. You're trending. You feeling miserable, sad, whatever the case may be. When you get home, yeah. who's that one person apart from your husband that you pick up the phone and you call? I don't call anyone anymore because the very person that you are calling could be the one who rejoices on your downfall. <laughs> so be careful who you vent to. Hey, that's deep. Because the uh, the minute you drop that phone, uko WhatsApp grouping ba is ya wagu WhatsApp group. They discussing you. So be careful who you tell your problems to. Be careful who you share your emotions to. Hmm. I don't vent on anyone. If it's not my husband, I cry to God, mm. and I know it's just between me and God. Do you think people will appreciate you more when you're gone? It doesn't really matter. Those who are meant to appreciate me do appreciate me now yeah. in my existence yeah. 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 while I'm still alive. I'm one of them, by the way. Let me just... I know. Thank <laughs> you. I mean, I You have, and your sister. <laughs> I, oh, of course. Oh, God. <laughs> you know, I'm, I have a lot of women who appreciate me. And I have a lot of men as well who appreciate me. Abo mama badala, abo baba badala who appreciate me. Young kids and all that. So I have enough. The people that who are who are meant to appreciate me appreciate me. Mm. You know. So I'm not thinking. Oh, maybe they'll appreciate me when I'm gone. When I'm gone, I'm gone. I do not care what happens behind me. Mm. Huh. Yeah, I know. And what do you want to be remembered as 
when the lights camera are off and it's all said and done one woman who stood firmly in being authentic yeah <laughs> love it <laughs> love it that's a quote buzz that's the thing that's one thing i want to be remembered for and it's very hard to do that i love my truth you did i love my truth no matter how painful that can be i will continue to live my truth that's the woman i am you know one thing i love about you is that you're thick skinned man like you are probably the most cyber bullied celebrity of all time yeah i'm probably number 1 then baba zuma comes up <laughs> <laughs> but you keep it flowing man you just keep it going you know the thing is to whom much is given much is expected hmm. you know and I, i i it would be an injustice for me to be given so much talent and not expect so much challenge you know mm. so i understand and also it just shows you that we live in a very broken society mm. people are broken to a point where it makes them feel better to break someone else yeah. you know it somehow comforts them to break the next person so they can feel better about themselves we live in the society we no longer giving each other hugs hmm we'd rather step each other instead of giving each other hugs. Mm. So it just tells you where we are. What was the last time someone said a nice thing about you like on social media? All the time. Ne? Mm-hmm. All the time. As much as there's the bad, mm. there's so much good out mm. there. You know for me bumping into women who are like you've changed my life. You should check my DMs. Yeah. They're flooded by women. Yeah. You know? And And I appreciate that because I stand for women and 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 what is right as far as women are concerned, you know? And to be loved and be supported by women for me means everything. Do a lot of uh, female celebrities that I've been having on the show like guests all were affected somewhere or another with like sexual physical abuse. Uh, is that the same with you? It's 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 sad. It is really sad. I saw the podcast with uh, Dineo and yeah. I really cried that day. And I said something to Dineo and I'm like I did not know you were going through that and but by the way, you must know you're not alone. There's so many of us who've gone through that, quietly gone through that. Mm. Yeah. Mm. And do you see an end in sight? <sighs> I don't know. I don't know. and it will take a lot you know it will take a lot we just need like for me that's why it's very crucial who i have around my son my mm. children you know mm. because that determines who he becomes or my daughter becomes yes. you know i need to teach my daughter the value of being a woman so that she never compromises and stays in a relationship that does not complement who she is yeah. you know and also teaching my son how to treat a woman you know it is the only way we can stop that but it's an ongoing thing even now there's a lot of women who are going through it in silence within the relationship and the sad part is that When you are in a relationship if, if when you are raped by someone who you are in a relationship with it's never seen as rape. Mm. And why is that? And it would take a lot for a woman to convince even even the police that this person yes I'm in a relationship with him but he took what's mine without my rights. He violated my right of being a woman, you know? Yeah. Do you think you misunderstood? Um my thing is that I really don't wish for anyone to understand who I who I am and what I'm about. I, that's not my wish really. If you do great, if you don't still great. Fuck man, I love you man. I think I'm in love. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, please take back what you just said. <laughs> I'm begging you before you have the Lebanese knocking at your door. looking to cut your finger yeah, yeah, and yeah. put it in the refrigerator yeah yeah man yeah. like dude no i'm honestly speaking from the bottom of my heart like, you know what the thing is my thing is that we end up succumbing to society's expectations of who we are because we're trying to you know please people yeah. you know and we're trying to be understood mm. who cares if people don't understand 
You, you understand are, yourself. I, you understand yourself. And you, you are not here to be understood by people. Why do you care so much about people who are still trying to figure themselves out? Eesh. And yet you want them to understand you? Mm. That's a lot. I feel like today I wasn't talking to Kayla. I was talking to Nontlantla. Eh, you were talking to a woman of God. <laughs> 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 uh, apart from your own music and Chad's music, who else do you vibe to? Like, who do you like from these upcoming artists? I liked, you know, hey... What do I like these days? What do I like these days? What's new that I like? I'm so old school. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And for me, I feel like music is evolving. It's beautiful. Mm. But some of it, I really can't keep up with it. Mm, mm. And I'm okay with not being able to keep up with it. Mm. You know, I mean, old soul. I re- listen to your Arethas. Mm. Arith- uh, and I listen to your Luther Van Ross. Mm. I, Marvin Gaye, you know. Mm. All the old people. Mm. So for me, it's beautiful what I see happening. Yes. But it, I'm not really taken by it. Right, cool. We're going to play a game. Ne? Uh, it's called Story Time. So I'm going ah. to give you a celebrity's name and yeah. then you must tell me a story if you have one about the celebrity. If I don't? If you don't, we'll skip and go to the next one. Okay, cool. Uh, don't worry, so music is not on the list. <laughs> 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 uh, DJ Fresh. Uh, he's on. Big Dog. Big Dog? He won, he's one of the people that supported my music Yeah. when I started in the industry together with his wife. And when Tabiso. he supports, he supports. When he supports, he supports. It's not friendship. It, I mean, no, some, uh, it's not the industry, industry fake yes. So him and his wife have supported me throughout my career and big ups to them. Okay. Uh, Bonang. Bonang, one of the iconic people that we have in the country. She stands her ground. She fights for what she believes in and she's done very well for herself. Have you ever met her? Oh, a couple of times, yeah. Yeah? And is it industry shake, handshake? Hi. <laughs> well, it has never been long enough for me to say uh, industry or no industry. Say so, hello, great, lovely to see you. Bye. Oh, uh, just like that, in and out. And uh, Cuesta. Um, Gussie Boy from my hood as well, the East End. Yeah. And has the East End's got some gems, eh? Yes, and oh. he's made such a huge impact in the music industry. Very humble guy. That's what I know of him. When he bumps into me, he's like, how is this kid? How are you? Great, thank you. Very respectable guy. Yeah. yeah. And then lastly, Boite. Oh. <laughs> very bubbly, very loving, very accommodative, very outspoken, strongly believes in herself as an individual, very confident in who she is. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, what do you think about her, you know, rapping and stuff? Have you heard any of her stuff? I was the f- one of the first people who had the pleasure to listen to. Oh. Uh, who that? Who's that? Yeah. What's that? What's that? What's that? that? Yeah. What's that? What's that? What's that? that? What's that? that? Yeah. Yeah. So I think she's an amazing person. I think she's an amazing rapper. I did not know that existed in her. And I was blown away when I first heard the song. Kelly, thank you so much for joining me, man. You know, I could talk to you for ages, for hours. Thank you. Uh, next time I won't be... <laughs> Please, man. <laughs> Like, I know how to speak, but I'm struggling to speak because I feel like I'm drunk, but I'm not drunk. What's happening to me? <laughs> and what are you busy with? Uh, what can people expect? Are you working on an album? You got a book, a movie? What's going yeah, on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Album came out last year. It's yeah. called Unleashed. Unleashed. And uh, I'm releasing My it. handle is MacG Unleashed, by the way. MacG Unleashed. Yeah. Hey, man. <laughs> <laughs> um, album is out. And, uh, and we're going to be releasing a song called Strong Woman mm. featuring Brenda Dumbo. And we are on top of that book. Oh, you, you're doing a book? Yes. It's, it's, it's based on how society views women. So it's not about your life? It, no, it is about me as a woman. Mm. And obviously other experiences, like, uh, uh, other women experiences. Yeah, like uh, we were, we are interviewing my mother on the book. Oh, nice. Talking to my mother because nice. we're trying to see how far the yeah. problem goes, yes. you know. Yeah. And obviously, society not favoring women so much. Yeah. You know, I think that that's my biggest fear. That, but I, I think mean, it's changing, eh? Is it? Yeah, it's changing. Bro. We still have women hating on women. Mm. You know, my fear is 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 a girl child growing up in a society. That where a woman is not allowed to have a voice, you know, to uh, growing up in systems where a girl child is not favored, you know what I'm saying? So, the book is going to be looking into all those things, yeah, yeah. 
Wow, man. And uh, what do you think of the industry? Like, where it's headed? Are you excited? Yeah, I am. I am. I'll tell you why. Uh, it, it Now we have the world looking at us. Yes, yes. We have the Wakanda world. Forever. Yes, we have the world um, um, paying attention to us, whether movie-wise or musically or just entertainment at large. I'm still concerned about the politics, but that's another story for another day. But yeah. really, where music is concerned, we have... Like the world paying mm. attention to us, and it's beautiful to watch. Yeah. No, listen, man. Thank you for coming. As I said, and um, I was really worried about doing this interview. Why? Uh, because I don't want to fall into the trap of asking the same things that everybody asks. Yeah. I wanted to get to know you. Yeah, you did ask. Because you're a human, after all. You know what I mean. And people think I'm some supernatural. Maybe I am. <laughs> I actually. Only Chad knows. <laughs> I am actually <laughs> because people can't treat you like that and 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 I mean unless they see the power in you. Yeah. Because sometimes the enemy sees what's in you before you even realize it. They try to squash it before it comes to full, you know, uh uh what's the word? Yeah. And uh, uh, until before it manifests. It manifests. Yes, yeah. yes. Cuz if you have to step up, people are going to take talk about you. And it's not always going to be nice things. Can I hide under your rock? It's, no, 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 it's no, very no, comfy there. No, my rock <laughs> has a lot. Please, try, another, try another one. <laughs> try a different rock. <laughs> right, cool, man. Thank you so much, Kelly. Thank I think you. what I learned from this interview is that, listen, uh, regardless of whatever, because we all go through problems, Yeah. just remain true to yourself and trust in the man above. It's that simple. Mm. And if you feel like the man above is not coming to party, it means there's a part of you that has contributed into him not coming into party. So fix that. Mm. Yeah. So you'll never be like a sangom or anything like that? I have tried. Oh, you've tried? Yeah. I thought, you know, you go to people, they tell you you are cold and whatnot. But what I've realized that that journey is not for me. Oh, yeah. Halfway through... I realized that that journey is not for me. I grew up in church. Yes. You know, I was raised by praying grandmother, praying mom, you know. I went to Sunday school. I was in Sunday school, a choir, praise and worship, youth choir. So for me, I looked at it not to say oh, that. Oh, that's why you love gospel. Yes. So for me, I looked at it and it just did not feel right. And if it doesn't feel right, it means it's not meant for you. Mm. So I had to quit and pursue my journey with God. Mm. And that's what works for you. It, it, it just automatically works. Yeah. I have better understanding of certain things. Whereas with the other stuff, I, there's a lot of things that didn't make sense to me. And when you ask people, nah, bah, bah, mm. you're just dabbling in between information. And, and I'm not the type to be dabbling between information. Mm. It's either this is right or it's wrong, you know? So I had to go back to Christ and say, Father, I know I did one, two, three, but I don't think it's mine. Would you ever be a preacher? Maybe one day. Nah. Maybe one day. So you I can preach and sing at the same time. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> You know, yeah. so I think that's what I'm called for. Mm. You know, the word of God, mm. the godly life, and what God wants mm. for His children. Mm. You know, so the, those other things are not for me, and not to say that I judge people that are pursuing it. I respect them. Yeah, you know, because they are probably understand why better than I do. Yeah, for me, I've always been a child of God, and I went to church, and church has always been me. And which kid of yours do you think? Is taking after you. Intense They're showing advice. signs of like, there's a young Kelly Kumalo in the making. My son. No, mm. no, not my son, my daughter. Mm. My son is a very, he's a gadget man. Oh, he's like a geek. He's into, you know, computers. Yeah, yeah. You know why it works like that, yeah. why it operates. My daughter sings all the time. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Cool, man. Is there anyone on that you'd like to still share stage with? Mm. Beyonce? No. I would like to share a stage with myself. Hey, hey, hey no. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. <laughs> no, because, I mean, we, we, we spend so much time and energy and saying, oh, if I could do that, what if you could do it? Mm. You know? So for now, 
is just focusing on this woman and just bettering this woman. What's a normal day in your life, dude? What do you do like when you wake up? I pray. You pray? It starts with prayer to say, Father, can you protect me from the demons before I even step out of my bed? Okay. And obviously plan my day and then the day starts. Yeah. Yeah. So it's never like you don't have a routine every day. It's always no, something no, different. No, no, like no, today no, you didn't know you no, were going to no, come no, here. No. No, I don't do well with routines. Mm. I, I don't. I'm a creative. Mm, yeah. I mean, routines kill me. They suffocate me. I, yeah. I can't. For me, I do what feels right whenever it feels right. Yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. So if it means today I'm going to make cheese, great. I'm going to make, today I'm sleeping, great. You know, today I want to work. I want to go to the office. And then, yes, great. All right, cool. Are you planning on having kids with Chad? Oh, definitely. Nah. Like Are you going to make beautiful babies? I know. <laughs> 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 a lot of people have been saying that. Like, oh my God, we can't wait for yeah. a kid with Chad. Huh? Yeah. In God's time. How old are you now? <laughs> are you, Don't be asking me. No, that. listen. Oh, you. Just know that I'm old enough and I'm not 40 yet. Sinners! Mm. Hey, you're a youngster, mm. <laughs> I'm old enough and I'm not 40 yet. Say hi to your sister for me, ne? Well, you're going to have to say that yourself <laughs> and see how the Zulu men is going to react <laughs> to that. <laughs> this has been Podcast and Chill. Make sure you do check out Kelly Kumalo. Uh, Insta, Twitter, where you at? Um, before I reach for my phone. Yeah. Uh, it's Kelly Kumalo ZA on Instagram, on Twitter, on Facebook, and yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Podcast and chill. Matt G, the ghost lady, and Lynn Moleko.